Along and say, shall we? Sir, can you hear me? Ah, can you hear me, sir? Start from Yes, sir. Uh, start from Nila, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Karthik, sir. Hi, sir. A very good afternoon and warm welcome to all from School of Arts and Science in AV campus, Vinayaka Mission Research Foundation, Chennai. The Department of Mathematics is going to conduct faculty development program on Gateway to Success CSAR net examination. Today, we are going to learn and listen how to crack CSA net examination in an easy manner. I would like to invite our expert speaker, Mr. N. Patepan, to begin the session. Sir, please, sir. Wait, God, the other 30 seconds. Sure, sir. Take your own time, sir. Public panel. Okay. Clear a Karthik on the on the light off on? Yes, sir. Clearly we are yes, sir on the light mute off on the light. Oh yeah, light off on the light. What about the light? Light off the last. Check. Okay, sir. Okay, and I think. Ah, it is okay, sir. Running pong, running pong, and running pong. In the light of the kitchen, I don't know. Is it okay? Say. Okay, sir. Okay, in the fan, on yes. the fan Okay, we have to start today, third day of this session. But today, planning is to do the some problems in topology and some problems in the real analysis. So this real analysis problem is involving some topological property. So today plan we are going to most probably solve a few problems in topology and a few problems in the, some real, real analysis problem. Okay, anyway, basically I will try to start on basic problems in the real analysis, uh, then after that, we will start a topology problem. It's very easy manner only, but particular topology, I try to explain. If I explain one concept, it will, we will try to do two, three problems in the previous year CSR problem. So don't worry. But one thing, uh, if you have please any doubt, you can keep on asking question to the chat box and uh, Karthik sir uh, will be asking me, then I will respond if I know. Yes, sir. If I don't know, maybe I will respond tomorrow or in future classes. Okay, anyway, fine. So thank you for the participant. Uh, we will start our session. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, first, uh, first problem maybe we have to start some geometry problem in the analysis. So let F going from R. R be twice, twice differential, twice continuously. I just write continuously differentiable function, continuously differentiable function with with f of zero equal to uh, f of one equal to f prime of zero equal to zero. Yes, please. 
sir some glad i uh, okay sir now it is okay yeah camera, uh, uh, the camera on most probably it will be uh, it will be space camera okay. out of focus okay. now it is focusing okay a prime of 0 equal to 0 then then the option is uh, the option is then uh if double prime is the if double prime equal to zero identically b if double prime of zero equal to zero option c if double prime of x equal to zero for some x for some x the zero to one option d if double prime x not equal to 0 for any x belongs to r please read the question so what is the given statement given f going from r to r be a twice continuously differentiable what is the meaning of twice continuously differentiable so two times differentiable and the second derivative is continuous that is a twice continuous differentiable second derivative should be exist the second derivative should be continuous which means double derivative is continuous that is the meaning twice continuous differentiable function then with f as this property what property what property f is a twice continuous differentiable function at f of 0 equal to 0 and f of 1 also 0 f prime we don't know that a prime of 0 also 0 so the curve at least the curve at least may be passing through like this i don't know maybe like this or maybe like this or maybe like this just wait wait i will possibility i will tell you i will tell you so the possibilities of just please try to understand the geometry So zero, uh, twice continuous differential function. Zero is a one of the root. One is also one of the two root, and zero is a root of the derivative, which means zero twice root. Zero is a two times root of the f. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, a, a prime of zero equal to is derivative. It's a tangent at a point in the zero. It will be zero. You know the Rolle theorem at mean value theorem. Just I am trying to uh, very shortly. I will try. So M B T is the mean value theorem. F going from some closed interval A comma B to R. Suppose suppose that first one F is continuous. F is continuous on the closed interval A comma B. Second one F is differentiable. on open interval a comma b third one main value that we can write or we can write rolle's theorem mm. so particular rolle's theorem is a particular case of mean value theorem i will our problem is involving a uh, uh, rolle's theorem this so i will write rolle's theorem f of a equal to f of b equal to zero. Generally, f of a equal to f of b equal to k. But here, k any number. But here, f of a equal to f of b equal to zero. Then there exists some c in a to b such that a prime of c equal to zero. How it will be look like? A function at a point a at a point b should be vanishing. And continuous function is differentiable, so can go somewhere and come back again somewhere. What what? Oh. Wherever it go and come back, this is one of the curve. So in between the tangent should be zero, which means there is a some point which is there. Derivative taking at that point it should be zero, which means uh, uh, this is a c point whose derivative is parallel to the x-axis. Derivative equal to zero means. Uh, Parallel to the whose tangent corresponding the curve of the tangent parallel to the x-axis. 
So here, uh, this is a C and uh, corresponding curve f of C. f of C is a f of C in that point. The tangent is parallel to the x-axis. So wherever you see, uh, wherever you got uh, some derivative equal to zero in that point, the image of the curve of the tangent point is tangent line is parallel to the x-axis. So this is like that a to b f of a vanishing and f of b f of b vanish f of a vanishing f of b vanishing. Now there is at least one point whose derivative uh, zero, derivative zero, which means uh, there is a root, there is a root lies between a to b of a prime of x, a prime of x. Up this theorem gives guarantee that whether the derivative has a root or not. Whenever f has a root, f f has a consecutive two real root, two real root, always there exists a at least one root in between a to b of a prime of x. Is it okay? Uh, in a meaning, na or function a will be will vanish. So, na two real root are there. F a root, b a root. Apa thano the derivative at least one root of that in between will be there. Abhi thanda the theorem solle. Ada solle. Uh, f a root b root up a uh, prime and derivative is the one root of the null uh, f as a continuous real valued function as any consecutive to real root there exists at least one root in the derivative okay so can i ask one question again right now from this question suppose i have a function from r to r continuously differential function I have a function. Suppose it, or I can write here. Then we will start this problem. It's a very simple problem. Does there exist? A, not does there if if going from R R B continuously differential function function such that f of alpha one equal to f of alpha two equal to and so on. F of f of some alpha thousand, all of them equal to zero. Then the then the number of roots of derivative is then the number of roots of derivative of f of x is what? What anybody? Yes, going from R to R, be a continuously differential function. Alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, all alphas are distinct. You can assume that. Alpha i not equal alpha j for every j, every i and j lies between one to thousand. So all roots are distinct. F has a thousand roots, thousand real roots. Then F prime has how many roots at least? That is a real valued continuous function. That is the IAM real root. That is the derivative of the real root. Sir, my three members are at least one root. My three. Very good. Next. Shall, shall I unmute help, sir? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. My three, madam. Now, where are the responses? Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Can you tell me that you are not going to say it? I'll check, sir. Hmm? I'll check, sir. Okay. Yes, come on, madam. Sir, I'm a student only, sir. Okay, no problem. No problem. Yes, you sir. are the madam after one year, two years, you will go and take somewhere, college. Okay, come on. Is there a function from R to R in f of alpha 1 equal to f of alpha 2 equal to up to f of n, here n equal to 1000? Yes. So there can be any equal functions up to any value of n. Number of roots of derivatives must be at least one root. There must be at least one. Why? Why? 
because you already said no sir first from that only you are asking this question so there uh, only two uh, there only two f of a equal to f of b so idea is it is alpha 2 but it is up to adu vandu alpha alpha n n na nam vechitom inga n equal to 1000 irukku ana kuda it is equal to 0 ana kuda number of roots derivatives vandu f of x vandu enna irukku nadu at least one root irukano irukku irukum at least one root avad irukum adu derivative no 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 i can produce more than one root no uh, at least one இல்லையா சார் அப்ப ஆன்சர் என்ன சார் வெயிட் 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 இஸ் देयर एनी अदर सम पीपल इज इज देयर एनी अदर पार्टी इज एनी अदर पीपल कम ऑन कम ऑन एनीबॉडी एनीबॉडी फैकल्टी व्हाटएवर इट मे बी कम ऑन कम ऑन वी विल डिस्कस பா இந்த செஷனே வந்து சும்மா டிஸ்கஷன் செஷன் தான் பா உங்களுக்கு எனக்கு இருக்கிற ஒரு எஸ் எஸ் ஒன் ரூட்ஸ் ஐ will just uh, log into doc sir ஒருப்பாட்டிசிபன்ராம் சோ எனக்கு விஷயம் தெரியுதுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு நான் வந்து இங்க வந்து பெருசா ட்ராமாவோ இல்ல ஜோக்கோ அது கிடையாது உங்கள பண்ண வைக்கணும் உங்கள இன்டராக்ட் பண்ண இஸ் வெரி குட் ஆஃப்டர் சார் கம் ஆன் சார் இட் இஸ் இப் सपोज n டிஸ்டிங் ரியல் ரூட்ஸ் मींस இட் இஸ் n டு டிகிரி பாலினாமியல் not necessarily polynomial i never say about polynomial here just a continuously differential function yeah okay i said it has n roots mean at least it is n degree polynomial okay 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 so but that, that is na illa illa sir adu n root irukadanal nam nth degree polynomial sin x irukadunu vechukka or bit la vandu paathina it may be more than n degree is more than n i i say sir okay okay come on neenga sollunga neenga sollunga adukapra nam idu pannikala one or two it is a polynomial of at least degree because n roots here it is n roots this n roots so um the derivative is a degree of n minus 1 mm-hmm. derivative is degree of n minus 1 so it has n minus 1 roots okay sir ninga apdi line la irunga ungalku inna or questions kekkara na ungalku endala concept clear aagiring paakala pore nimisha so so uh does does there exist uh, does there exist a fourth degree polynomial fourth degree polynomials of the curve in the curve the function vandu edho or fourth degree polynomial ude curve vandirukalama nu kekkara இதுக்கு அப்புறம் இது வேனிஷ் ஆகல போயிடுது फोर्थ டிகிரி வேணா ஆ மேபி थर्ड थर्ड டிகிரி கூட ஏதோ फोर्थ டிகிரி பாலினாமியல வரலாமான்னு கேக்குறேன் சார் மேபி फोर्थ டிகிரி பாலினாம மேபி கம் फोर्थ டிகிரி ஆர் थर्ड டிகிரி ஆர் செகண்ட் டிகிரி x பவர் 4 1 இது என்ன இது என்ன கேள்வி கேட்டுக்கறனாக்க இப்போ இது ஒரு ஃபங்க்ஷன் இது ஒரு கர்வ் இது ஏதோ ஒரு பாலினாமியல் பாலினாமியல் ஆஃப் டிகிரி 2 ஏனா ரெண்டு ரூட் வந்துருச்சு பாலினாமியல் ஆஃப் டிகிரி 2 ஆர் டிகிரி 3 ஆர் டிகிரி 4 இந்த மூணு டிகிரில ஏதாவது ஒரு டிகிரி பாலினாமியல் ஆ இது இருக்கலாமா இருக்கலாம் x 4 1 ம் x 4 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
so parallel to wherever parallel to x axis f of a f of b then there exists a, a smooth continuously differential function the interval alpha 1 and alpha 2 f of a equal to f of b is 0 f of alpha 1 equal to f of alpha 2 equal to 0 then there exists a c then there exists then there exists c belongs a to b such that f prime of c equal to 0 அப்ப எப்ப அப்பலாம் f க்கு a க்கும் b க்கு ரெண்டு ரூட் வந்தா இடையில டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஒரு ரூட் வரும் வரும் கரெக்ட்டா ஒரு ரூட் ஆகுதனால வரும் தேர் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அட் லீஸ்ட் அப்பனா என்ன டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஈக்குவல் டு 0 அப்பனா டான்ஜென்ட் லைன் பாரலல் டு தி x ஆக்ஸ் சோ ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் a c1 டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் f பிரைம் f பிரைம் ஆஃப் c1 ஈக்குவல் டு 0 c2 c3 c4 c5 சோ அப்ப டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் தி ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்கு 5 ரூட் வருது கரெக்ட்டா அப்ப டெரிவேட்டிவ் 5th டிகிரி பாலாம் இல்ல ஆவுதே ஆனா உங்களுடைய f வந்து 4th டிகிரியா இருந்தா டெரிவேட்டிவ் 3rd டிகிரி தான் வரும் அப்ப அதிகபட்ச திரி ரூட் தான் வரும் சோ ஆன்சர் இஸ் at least n 1 ஆ ஆ வெயிட் 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 ஐ will come uh, i will try to complete this question so this is a uh, this is not for any polynomial of degree 2 degree 3 degree 4 degree 5 up to maybe it it could be 6th degree polynomial or 7th degree polynomial 8th degree polynomial that we don't know but second degree third degree fourth degree fifth degree varad ena fifth degree vandadna the fifth degree polynomial node ya curve a irundadna adude derivative ki fourth degree da appo four root da varano ipo inda derivative ethana root irukudha 1 2 3 4 5 root irukudha sari dana appo id second degree polynomial la varadu third degree polynomial node curve a irukadu fourth degree polynomial node curve a irukadu fifth degree polynomial node curve a irukadu now you come to the point here sariya okay ipo inda problem la i try to explain okay sir thank you sir i will continue sir no problem alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 and so on alpha 1000 alpha 1000 so here f vanishing but whenever f vanishing maybe it could be like this if it is like something uh, in between uh, the initially i will try to explain smooth curve alpha 1 alpha 2 root பட் டெரிவேட்டிவ் எத்தனை ரூட் இருக்குது இந்த கேப்ல இங்க ஒரு ரூட் இங்க ஒரு ரூட் இது ஒரு ரூட் இது ஒரு ரூட் த்ரீ ரூட் வருது சார் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் மீன்ஸ் நாட் சேயிங் தட் யூனிக்னஸ் பட் சார் சொல்றது அவர் வந்து பாத்தீன்னா யூனிக்னஸ் சொல்றாரு ஏன்னா ரெண்டு ரூட் தான் இடையில ஒரு ரூட் இருக்கும் ரெண்டு ரூட்டுக்கு தான் இடையில ஒரு ரூட் இருக்கும் கரெக்டா கன்சிக்யூட்டிவா ரூட் இருக்கும்போது இடையில டெரிவேட்டிவ் ரூட் வந்துகிட்டே இருக்கும் கரெக்டா ஆனா இங்க வந்து யூனிக் ரூட் கிடையாது டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஒரே ரூட் தான் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் ஆகும்னு சொல்ல அட்லீஸ்ட் ஒரு ரூட் ஆகுதுனால எக்ஸிஸ்ட் ஆகும் இப்ப இந்த கருவ the condition is satisfied differentiable continuous then alpha 1 alpha 2 they all vanish out appa by rules you apply panni at least one root irukku but unfortunately here our uh, f f prime has three root 1 2 3 appa in between la nare root irukalam many root irukalam countable number of root irukalam countably finite root irukalam but at least one root guarantee so what i am going to say அவர் சொன்னது வந்து பாலினாமேல் எந்த டிகிரி பாலினாமேல் இருந்து என் ரூட் ரியல் ரூட்டா இருந்ததுன்னா என் மைனஸ் ஒன் ரூட் ரியலா இருக்கும் அதனுடைய டெரிவேட்டிக்கு அவர் சொன்ன பதில் வந்து நான் கேட்ட கேள்வி இப்ப எந்த டிகிரி பாலினாமேல் என் டிஸ்டிங் ரூட் ஆல் ஆஃப் தம் ரியல் த டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் த பாலினாமேல் காசோ எல்லாமே ரியல் ரூட்டா இருக்குமா எத்தனை ரியல் ரூட் வரும் அப்படின்னு நான் கேள்வி கேட்டதுன்னா அதுக்கு அவர் சொன்ன பதில் கரெக்ட் கரெக்டா நான் எங்க கேட்ட கேள்வி என்னன்னாக்கா continuous differential function not necessarily a polynomial appo avaru vandu or special case sonnaar appo nam or special case ku true na ella general case ku true nam solla mudiyadhu is it okay so this is a general uh, general continuous differential function as this property appo by rolls theorem prakaram enna na rendu root ku edila at least or derivative root avadhanal irukku rendu root ku edila or derivative root avadhanal varum appo adhu pola evlo varum 1999 root at least varum சில இடத்துல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா மூணு ரூட் கூட
So all of them okay? Someone, Maitri, okay? Yes, sir. Answer is sir. 999 at least roots. At least, at least 99. At least triple nine. 999 roots. Okay. Is, is there any question? Okay. The question for roll zero. Uh, main value is the particular case of roll zero. That is f of a equal to f of b in the bala, equal to zero. Bala, some k potential. Still, we can talk about uh, roll zero. But anyway, just I am warm up in this roll serum. Then now we are trying to solve this problem. If you have a theorem, you can help you. Solve it. So, what is the answer, Karthik? Anybody is a responsive answer? For this question? Uh, Maitri ma'am already told sir, uh, triple nine. Here, 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 and this problem. Uh, no sir, no sir. No. Okay, uh, the question is here. Uh, the, uh, at zero, it will be function takes zero. At one, function takes zero. A prime of zero means maybe f could be like this or f could be like this. In zero, because with derivative vanishing, right? Okay, f could be like this or f could be like this or f could be f could be like this. So many choices are there because the derivative also other zero and the tangent on this zero work. So another in the bending. So one and the zero are going function are able to zero or zero are going so in between according to the rules theorem pragara enna aidum zero ku one ku zero ku one ku root irukum right ah huh? just write f of zero equal to f of one r on the continuously differentiable function zero to one it's a continuous and open differentiable whole r differentiable in particular open interval differentiable f of zero equal to f of one equal to zero satisfying this condition According to Rolle's theorem, there exists at least one root between 0 to 1 such that as this property. Okay. So, therefore, by Rolle's theorem, there exists some C1 between 0 to 1 such that f prime of C1 equal to 0. Is it okay? Okay. Next. Next, another what is the given hypothesis? f prime of 0 is 0. So given a prime of zero also zero. Now again, what? Again, a prime is continuous. A prime is differentiable. Why is a twice differentiable? Already first derivative exists. I think second derivative exists. Down solve it. Second derivative exists. First derivative of c1 is zero. Some point zero here and c1 is somewhere. One here. Okay, this point the curve should be vanishing. Upper curve should be in that place parallel to the tangent line. Already given, already given 0, 0, and 0, it will parallel to the tangent. Okay, anyway, fine. This is just a rough diagram. This is not a very perfect diagram. Just, just roughly we will try to understand. So, a prime of 0 also 0 and uh, a prime of C1 also 0. Now we can apply again rule theorem for this derivative. Seria? Up a derivative rule theorem apply pandre. Derivative continuous, derivative, derivative differentiable 0 to C1, and there exists a some point again by rule theorem for derivative. Rule theorem for a prime. There exists a some C2 between. 0 to C1, 0 to C1, such that f double prime of C1, C2, f double prime of C2 equal to 0. Ah, one of the problems is that the 0 is going to go, the rows are going to 0 is going to go, real root is the derivative is going to go. And the root is C1. But C1 is going to go, C1 is going to go, root of the derivative. 0 is again root of the derivative. Up a derivative function, 0 ko 1 ko on the closed interval, on the derivative continuous argo, derivative function, and derivative function differentiable argo. Again, we can apply the rules theorem. Up a second derivative, at least one root or a between 0 to C2. Sorry, 0 to C1. C2 is the root. Okay. 
அப்ப ரோல் சீரம் கிவிங் கேரண்டி ஃபார் தட் த செகண்ட் டெரிவேட்டிவ் ஆஸ் அட் லீஸ்ட் ஒன் ரூட் ஆஸ் அட் லீஸ்ட் ஒன் ரூட் சோ நோ வாட் இஸ் அவர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் at least one root or some x some at least all of them are the same meaning f double prime of x equal to 0 for some x belongs to zero okay this is our answer so what about other things rolle theorem giving guarantee that second derivative has at least one root but second derivative not necessarily going to zero identically second derivative is not going to at uh, taking zero to zero not necessarily all those things we try to give the counter example just you find it just applying uh, you take polynomial or whatever it may be so all of them are uh, uh, neglecting only this things always true maybe some continuous differential function satisfying this property not all continuous differential function satisfying this property does not imply always this similarly does not imply this you have a lot and lot of example just observe and you can uh construct a function satisfying this property but need not satisfying this property need not satisfying this property need not satisfying this property okay the answer is c only okay that is a baby level i am not doing you can do it. okay is there any question kartik sir is there any question no right uh, no sir i just hold on sir okay answer is c from my the my three only sir And, okay uh, okay sir sir uh, some of uh, nisha said uh, that please speak in english <laughs> okay 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 some of the students are there from uh, outside okay okay uh, i thought uh, uh, all of, most probably today maybe attending uh, only tamil students no, no, so that sir, is they are, uh, constantly uh, some of five people or six people are there mm, in this session sir. okay okay sure sure i am very sorry okay. but anyway i will try to explain uh, just uh, you guys uh, from outside state no just you can uh, applying for roll theorem for this and uh, you getting some point between 0 to 1 as at least one root by roll theorem that is i called c1 uh, c1 is a root of the derivative f prime of c1 and again you can apply for uh, roll theorem for this you getting some root for uh, just i called c2 so the third option says that second derivative has at least some root in 0 to 1 that's all always okay can anyway, you find so next problem onwards i will explain in english you don't worry okay another one more problem then i will start this uh, simple topology let second question this is baby questions only let a be a closed closed subset of closed subset of r a not equal to mt a not equal to r then a is the closure of closure of the interior the closure of the interior of a p a countable set a countable set a compact set not open please explain answer answer please come on come on so what is a given statement let like a be a closed subset of r just a random closed subset we don't know it could be closed interval or it may be bounded closed interval or it may be unbounded interval unbounded closed interval just a is a closed set that's all then a is then a is the closure of the interior of a uh, that a is countable 
A is calm. A is not open. So what is your answer? Is anybody answered this question? Yes, sir, uh, Karpe, sir has said uh, option D. Option D. Nisha, okay. option D. Ah. So I think sir, Nisha is out from Tamil Nadu, sir. So Nisha, come on. Just Why sir. is option B? Come on. So try to unmute. Yes, Nisha, ma'am, you can tap. Come on, Nisha. Yes, sir. Uh, it is closed, so it is not open. Uh, yes, clear. All, yes, sir. Uh, all options are uh, we not uh, conclude, but uh, option D is we say not open because it is closed. Okay, why it will be some close, it may be compact, right? Yes, sir. A equal to 0 to 1. This is a compact set as well as the closed. Why it will not true? You said 100% is correct. So, given A is closed, clearly A is not open. Okay. Why this is not uh, closed set, not, need not imply compact or closed set always implies compact? I have a closed set, but uh, also sim similar that that could be compact how how you are neglecting this statement if you want neglect uh, you find a some a that a cannot be compact even though the a is closed is it correct right yes sir can i give an example first uh, you know what is the meaning of let Let me what? is arbitrary. Uh, uh, let let just the the set now. Let let A be a closed set. We don't know which closed set. Yes, sir. Just I will write this problem in set notation manner. Set of all A is a subset of R such that A is closed with respect to usual topology. But here not mention anything. A is closed. You're collecting all those uh, closed sets in R with respect to usual metric. Anyway, fine. So, in R, this is a, just to think about, this is a R, but your V is like this. This is your V. So, the whole set is R. Okay. So, what are the all possible subsets just a collecting I gather here, that is I called R. Uh, R means it's a collection of all subsets of R. From that collection, now I am collecting only for sub collection. Each one is closed in the sub collection. Just a lot of subsets are neither open nor close to open. All choice of subsets are there. But right now V is a sub collection. Each element in V is a closed set. Right? Okay. Now the question here A should be here. We don't know which A here taken. All of them are closed. Lot of A's are there. Just a take random A. That random A is called let A be a closed set. And also they are avoiding empty and whole R. Okay. Even though empty set closed and whole set closed, avoiding the two sets. Just you can think about they are avoiding two sets. Now random A. We don't know. This is a, some A. This is some A1. This is some A2. And so on. This is a sub collection. If take any element to this sub-collection, as always, what property following? Suppose all elements in the V as this property always, na, then it will be true. Some element in V does not follow this property, na, this is false. Okay. But clearly, every element here is a closed set. But we can say that each set is not open. That will be true statement always. Because our V is a, every element is closed. Now I can say that that is not an open set. Every element in V is not open. Okay, that is, that's why this option D is true. Why is not compact? Why every element in V is not compact? 
now you have to find an example now you have to find a some example you can find a sum a1 which is closed but not compact some element in v does not following this property therefore this is not true generally so what element at least now you can produce an element in v which is not compact so a equal to z z is non empty it's not whole or is a clearly closed set there is no limit point is a closed set but this is an element of v and this z is not a compact so what's our conclusion all elements in v does not following this property maybe some element following this property for example if i take a equal to 0 to 1 this is an element of v but it following this property if one say option c is correct means every element in collection v every element in the collection v is also always compact but few elements following this property few element does not following this property so therefore generally this is not true this is not true let means the collection we don't know you take any element this is a property of v this is a property of v the question is asking property of v any element in v as the which which property following all element in v which property following some element of v following some property some element of v does not following that property na that property is not true always for in v okay this is a construction of the question people they think like that they are construct like that okay anyway so what about countable the similar the same is an element of v element of v but that a need not be countable few maybe some element just i call a2 a2 equal to 1 comma 2 just two element in the set is a closed set it's a countable set countably finite countably infinite few element they are following few element does not following for example this this is an element of b that does not following this therefore option b is not always true okay fine what about what's the meaning of this closure of the interior of a is a closure of the interior of the a equal to a the option a said every element in v following this property this a following that property this a some few element in v following this property you take uh, take a closure uh, interior first that will be open interval and you take again closure that could be in a only so this a following this property which means this a following first option what about uh, what about um, we need to some element which does not following right so which one i can uh, okay this this is an element of v and what is the interior of z uh, z does not have a limit point does not have any point is interior point no points are in interior point so interior is empty so if i take a equal to z is interior is empty now you can take bar so again empty only but that is not equal to okay i have element in v does not following this property similarly i have an element in v following the property few elements following few element does not following so therefore this option is not always true nisha is it okay yes sir this is a way to solving the problem and you can think always how people they are constructed question once if you go think like that then you can construct lot and lot of problems no need depend the other guys okay we, we can think how he can define the problem usually people they are defining problem we are working so when we are working we have to think about how the people they are create a problem why we not create a problem how what's the background of this problem 
So this is a real mathematical meaning in the set notation. This set notation problem only they are written some words. Let means arbitrary. We don't know which a. You take any a in B following which property always. That is always true option. Some element following, some element does not following in B. That will be wrong statement. Is it okay? This is a way to understand the problems. Not only CS are exam. It's a mathematical problem. We try to understand like this. Once if we try to understand this, then we are never getting any tension, any pressure. No need for preparing anywhere to go and give talk or any time you can always ready to give talk. Okay, we need a clear concept how they are creating, how they are defining. Why we can't understand? What is the background? We need to understand the concept. For a day, at least five problem or seven problem, you can try to solve individually without any help. If you doing keep on one month, then you can understand any paper. Okay. Anyway, fine. So, can I move another problem? Atik sir, is there yes, any sir. question? Yes. No questions from uh, chat box, sir. Okay. Fine. Okay. Wow. So can I start uh, some topology problem? Yes, sir, for sure. Okay. So, but I try to talk about only one topology, and then from the topology, we can solve uh, three or four problems are there. Only usually in the competitive exam, they will be asking the particular topology. That topology is called the co-finite topology. Co-finite topology. Once we understand the co-finite topology, then the problem we can try to solve. But it will take little time. It's no problem. We will try to solve the problem. Okay. Anyway. So do you know the co-finite topology? Ah, before I'm going to start the co-finite topology, I will do the one geometry problem, then we will start. So I don't know how many people they are very familiar with uh, topology. In the topology part C, it will be two questions, part B, one question, and sometimes uh, topology with real analysis as at least one or two questions. So usually once you know the topology, we can attend three, four part C questions, two, three part B questions. So involving real analysis. So here also connected compact, there also connected compact. Actually, real analysis is a particular topology. So in the topology, we no need for metric. So once I put a set metric, uh, put a set, uh, suppose X is a set, it has a metric, and from that metric, we can create a topology. That topology is called the metric topology. So in the real analysis, we have a lot of metric. So in particular, we are using most probably only usual metric. Okay. So topology is a general concept and real analysis is a particular topology in particular metric space we are studying. Okay. Topology is a very bigger subject. It's an interesting and a geometric point of view. It will creating a lot of things. So a lot of creativity ideas uh, giving in current uh, science. Anyway, so, so it's a simple only. Mm -hmm. Let A be the a be the following 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 subset of R2. Nisha from where? Maharashtra, sir. Maharashtra. Wow, nice. Your studying MSc are completed. Completed, sir. Oh, how do you know this program? The Facebook or you YouTube? My teacher gave me link, sir. Or not, sir? Wow. Oh. Your teacher name? Prem Kiran Padani, sir. Doctor Prem oh, Kiran. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So uh, last year, one of uh, 
student from Gujarat. Uh, she is attending here this course. So that is what uh, I said right now. Currently, she is somewhere working in the college. So that is what I asked you. Okay, anyway, fine. So did you understand whatever I'm talking here? Yes, sir, clearly. Okay. Well. Then A is connected. A is connected. And B. A is compact. C. A is path connected. A is bounded. In R2, just defined A. Now they are talking about A. Whether A is connected, whether A is compact, whether A is path connected, whether A is bounded. Just to take 30 seconds to say which one you can able to identify. I think already previously you saw the most most people are they are solving. Just I read, let A be the following subset of R2. How they are defining A? Just a collect an element R2. This is an element in R2. This is the meaning. Collect an element R2, which means R at first. Set of all X, Y as this property. Union, again, this is another one more set. Set of all X, Y and Y as this property. Now, can you able to identify what is your A? Yeah, just draw, draw in R2, please. Please try to draw the diagram, please. Is there any answer, please? Artics are any answer? No. I'm waiting for the messages, sir. Okay. Okay, what is this set and this set you take union that is A. So what is this A? What is this A? Set of all element x comma y in R2 as this property is a unit disk, right? So unit disk, closed unit disk with center minus 1 comma 0. x minus a whole square plus x minus b whole square equal to 1. It's a circle with the center a and b, right? Center a comma b. So the center is minus 1 and here 0. So uh, this is a minus 1 comma 0 in R2. So what is the radius? It will be 1. Is the diagram is OK? Anyway, is it very bad? I don't know. OK. Uh, this is a unit test. So center minus 1 comma 0. So all elements are there. This is one part of it. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Good, good, good. So what about this part? X comma Y, just you can replace. So how you are collecting Y? Here. X comma Y, Y is of the form of a X comma sine of 1 by X such that x positive, that's all. This is your rewriting of A. A, not A, this set. Re other way of A. A, I can write like this also. The same meaning. Nothing changes. Okay, any, fine. Uh, 
now i would like to say so if you guys you guys know about uh, sin x graph sin x you know right sin x graph just like this right and so on you know sin of 1 by x graph you know sin of 1 by x graph so in 0 to 1 it's a very close to 0 so your graph is like this it will be touching minus 1 and plus 1 and so on so each and every time it will be touching very close to it will be oscillation is very high oscillation is very high very close to 0 close to very 0 that's a sign of 1 by x so do you know that uh, x into sin x do you know the graph of x into sin x just i am uh, roughly uh, draw a diagram mm. just you draw the diagram oh. sin x is bounded by 1 just just to see that this is less than or equal to x right so less than or equal to mod x so this curve is always bounded by once you model is removing x sine of x so less than or equal to mod x greater than or equal to minus times of mod x so that is why modulus i draw here and modulus minus modulus draw here now the sin x somewhere it will take one which means pi by two x pi by two means sine pi by two one and it will be pi by two so where it is this function is going to identity means wherever sin x taking value one in that place the function x into sin x behaving just identity function which means it will be touching the x line at pi by two this is one and this is pi by two only again phi by by 2 it's a 1 again the phi by by 2 which means wherever sin x takes value in that place it will be touching the x line touching the x line so what i am going to say so wherever it's getting minus 1 it's touching the minus line so can i draw here maybe maybe it will be useful for to solve the problem x into sin x the bounded by mod x and greater than or equal to minus mod x. So, you know mod x is this, sorry. This is a mod x and this is a minus times of mod x. This is a modulus x, this is a minus times of modulus x. Now, the sin x is whenever taking value 1, that will be identity behaving. In that place, it will be touching x axis. So sin x wherever taking minus 1 in the in that time x is minus x. So what I am going to say like this. So like this. Go on touch and touch and keep on going. Similarly, this side also touching, touching, and so on. This is a this graph is x into sin x graph. Now the question. What is the x into sine of 1 by x graph? You know, you know, what do you know? This is x x. You know the graph of sine of 1 by x. So like this, keep on. This is a sine of 1 by x graph. Now the question is, what is the x? This is a sine of 1 by x graph. What is the graph of this? So whenever it taking 1, it will be identity. Whenever it taking minus 1, it will be minus x. The same thing, same thing, which means the same oscillations, the same oscillation like this. So what is that meaning? So oscillation is lies between like this. So similarly like this x in the sign of 1 by x. Okay. But x in the sign x, the curve, it will be very smooth. But here will be more oscillations. More oscillations. But here very few 
for a few times it will up and down but here x in the sign of 1 by x and our always 1 by uh, 2 2 times of uh, yeah 2n plus 1 2 by n plus 1 pi by 2 x equal to 2 by 2n plus 1 into pi all those place are 2n minus 1 whatever it may be i don't know i'm not sure just to check it 2 by 2 n minus 1 into pi. Just you can apply here. It take always value 1 1 1 1. So this is going to zero. So that is what I am saying that whenever this goes to zero, the image will be oscillating more and more, more and more times. So many frequently it will be oscillating, but it never touches to zero. It will be oscillating only. So and the zero is not defined. Sign up on by zero infinite, right? That that is not making uh, meaningless. So in very close to zero, it will not define. With not very close, very close to zero, it will be more and more oscillation is very high increasing. Okay. Anyway, fine. So now our question is x into sine of one by x. You know the graph x into sine of one by x. This is a graph of x into sine of one by x. So what is your input x and the output is x into sine of one by x. This is a curve. The same curve also here. Okay. So don't worry about anything. The curve is like this. is like this uh this is our a how the a so input is x if i give input x what is output x in the sign of 1 by x so x in the sign of 1 by x curve how it will look like x comma sign of 1 by x how it will be look like the same similar pattern you will be touching 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 on so on This is x, and this is our x comma sine of one by x. All x here, all x here. So here, more and more oscillations. A B oscillations here, very close to. Z. But your x is positive, so it never touches zero, but very close to zero. Now this set, this is your a. It's a function, right? X comma f of x. X comma f of x. Now, what is your set? Your set is this curve only. This curve. Now here. Now the a is a union, but this is a zero, and this set come to very approachings to zero. Very approachings to zero. Why? X positive. Just X positive. X positive means zero is here, na? X X come very close, very close, very close, very close. Still alone. So the thing is that zero is the limit point. That's all. Now your A is unit disk union this set union this set. So X comma X into sine X. So input X, the output is uh, X comma sine X. This is the curve. Up and down, up and down. It will be go on, go on, go on. Why? X is positive. X is positive. There is no controlling for right side X. It will be go up and go, up and go. This is uh, ultimately your graph. This is your A set. Now come to your conclusion. Now you have some doubt whether this is separating or this is separating. This diagram is very close to approaching to. Approaching to the zero, so zero is a common point. Zero is a common point means zero is here. Zero will be here for in the set, but zero is not here. But very close to zero, the set. Now the union. Now the union. Union is what compact, connected, close, whatever. They will be asking a lot of questions. So now, what is your guess? Just to see the diagram, at least one option you can violate. One or two options. Now, what is your options? Come on. Now I am. I I draw the graph. This is a perfect diagram. You don't worry about this. And this set is approaching to zero, very close to zero. So very zero. So suppose zero comma one means. What is the meaning of this? So zero is here and close means zero is the limit point. X also in very close to zero, very close to zero. The same pattern here. X goes to very close to zero. Now the question: What are the options? 
Nisha, is there any idea? No. Uh, sir, uh, A option is not correct because uh, A, uh, A option is not correct. Wow, why? The set, uh, this set is not connected, sir, because uh, uh, the set uh, zero is not include include in this set. Okay, say so, okay. But I am not saying the answer is correct or not. But uh, whatever she said, something I am observing. Okay, next. Sir, sir, A equal to union of on the two set uh, two given things. Yes, 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 yes. A is a union of this. A is a this union one? union only of the two given set. But uh, here zero is uh, just approaching zero. It is not uh, common, so it is not connected. Both the graphs are not connected. They are separating. Ah, separated only. So A option is not true. Okay. Uh, did you complete a topology syllabus subject in MS? Sir, yes, sir. We yes, sir. I'm final year, sir. Completed topology paper. Okay. Uh, okay. A is a set is connected. This implies A bar is connected. Did you study the statement there? Are you studied this statement? A is a subset of B and A bar is here. A is connected and B A bar is connected. In between any B is also connected. A is connected. A bar is also connected. Connected in between any subset B is also connected. Okay, whenever A is connected, which implies always A bar is connected? Uh, no, yes. Not necessarily, no, I am not going to say. A is connected, subset of B and is a subset of A closure. Which implies that B is connected. The subset uh, is a subset of A bar. B is also connected. That is a theorem statement. Just read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Subset means oh. uh, it is a common, so it is connected. Once uh, B is connected, in particular B. Huh? Sir, in the given given level, that is A equal to union. That is a good thing. Ama. Apo zero, that is. Connect the sir. Rendu, rendu graph was separated than irk. First two led the one the x plus one the whole square room. Uh, mm. x plus one whole square, y square less than equal to one no. And the inno one the y equal to and the inno nerki. Ipo x into sign of one by x in soning lay. Other one, then to be connected illa than a sir. Apo a is not true than a sir. Other body. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. So what can you say about this? A is connected and A bar is connected, right? That is a statement there, just to see the topology. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Uh, this is connected, uh, but this is path connected. Sir, if it is given connected, then then we can say A is path connected, but question like a is connected to Kudukala, sir. Ah, it's not given. Just A is a subset. A is a subset. Okay, yes, anyway, uh, first we try to avoid, uh, try to neglect some statement, then we we'll come some, some other statement. Wait, wait, I will come. So, what about uh, D option? What about D option? A is bounded, right? The given. A, whether A is bounded? A is not bounded, right? So this part of A is bounded, but this part of A is unbounded. Why? So X is going. X goes to infinity. 
So x goes to infinity. This may be bounded. That I am not sure. So it, that also it will be coming. But what I'm saying that this is the this this side of subset is not bounded. This is bounded, but this is not bounded. Just you see the diagram go on go go on go like this. So A is not bounded. So clearly from this diagram A is not bounded. So here the given A is bounded. This is a wrong. Okay. So what about uh, compact? What about compact? So once compact uh, in the usual topology. They are nothing to mention any topology. If they are nothing to mention any topology, you can assume that always is the usual topology. So according to usual topology, usual metric space here. So usual metric space, a subset is compact if and only both closed and bounded. But generally, definition of compactness is not a closed and bounded. Every open cover has a finite subcover. That is the definition. Uh, in the definition giving the meaning in the usual topology, particularly the definition is equal to here. A is compact if and only closed and bounded. But here this is a usual topology. Therefore, when the subset is said to be compact, if and only if A is closed and bounded. But once A is compact, then A is obviously bounded. We said that A is not bounded. Therefore, A is not compact. A is compact implies closed and boundedness. P implies Q. From the diagram, clearly A is not bounded. Therefore, A is not bounded. A is not compact. Compact implies boundedness. Not bounded, not compact. P implies Q. Negation of Q implies negation of P. Same logical statement. Okay. Therefore, A is not compact. Now the question is whether A is connected or A is path connected. This is our theory. So what is the conclusion? Uh, do you know about this is a topological sign curve? Topological sign curve. Topological sign curve is an example. If you go anywhere in the interview, if you if you say somewhere I know topology, so I am very comfortable with the topology in the interview, most probably they will be asking question: what is the difference between path connected and connected? Path connected. Once path connected. So connected word is already there. Path connected in place, always connected. There is a path. You take any two point in the set, there is a path. The path may be straight line or somewhere, or bending line, whatever it may be. At least one path, given any two point, we can move from the continuous path. If it has a the subset, then A is said to be path connected. A is path connected. Okay. So if you take any point here, any point here, then you can travel. This is a continuous curve. I take any point here, you take any point here, we can draw, or we can draw a straight line, or we can go like this. So, a lot of way we can approach from A to B, some element here to here. So, clearly, this is a path connected. Similarly, this is also path connected. So, each line you are set like this, already the line is path. There is a path. This portion also path. Path means to take any two point, we can go the curve approaching some path, continuous path. If you take a point from here, if you take a point from here, how we can uh, approach here? You go and come and go and come again up and down, we reach here. This is a continuous path. So clearly this side also path connected. Path connected means Given any two point in the set, there is a path from A to B. It's path connected. So not path connected means there exists a point, some C1, C2. We cannot find a continuous curve. We cannot find a path which is completely contained in the set. Which is, there is a point. Suppose the subset is said to be not path connected. We can able to find a two point, some C1, C2. There does not exist any path from C1 to C2. 
path means is a continuous function from connecting the point c1 to c2 is it okay so for example this is my set a1 a2 a3 this is a path connector take any two point we can approach take any two point we can approach but if you take any point here this is a, we cannot find a path the path is not completely contained in the set suppose c equal to a1 union a2 union a3 the question asking whether c is a path connector you take any two point in c they completely contained in the path in the set c itself but this if you take point here and here we can if, if you take any draw diagram continuous curve it will be outside the c so this is clearly not path connected for uh, three subsets union of given c okay this piece path connected this piece separately path connected this piece separately path connected but the union is not connected okay now if you take any two points this right side still we can able to travel and reaching similarly here given any points anywhere two points we can able to draw the question is right now if i given any point if you take any point how we can draw how we can draw we can go and stop here next next you have to come here you have to come here keep on coming 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 with never touches the never the path completely contained in the set but this side path only coming but never it will be reaching but it approaching to reach okay clearly we can able to identify we are not connecting if you take a point this side and that side there is no continuous path we, uh, i am standing here you are coming that's all you are coming 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 very close when it is coming x is very close to zero but we are trying to touch but still not touching we are trying to touch still not touch very close very close very close zero is a limit point of this side but we can't give there is no path so therefore it is not path connected but how it is connected this is a connected how how what is the definition of connected what is the definition of connected there is no separation right there is no separation what is the meaning of separation separation means there is a disjoint non empty open sets whose intersection is empty and uni is whole set there is a disjoint non empty open sets such that union is whole set and intersection is empty that is called the separation of x if x has no separation no non empty open set satisfying this condition then set x is connected which means uh, there is no separation or we can say some other way any two non empty subset a intersection b is empty and a bar intersection b equal to empty b bar intersection a equal to empty then we say that a is disconnected which means uh, limit point of this set does not contained here limit point of this set does not contained here na then we say that the two pieces are disjoint ah uh, a comma b b a subset of x a bar intersection b equal to empty b bar intersection a equal to empty then a union b equal to whole set x na then we say that x is uh, disconnected a and b are non empty that should be what needed a and b are non empty which means uh, any limit point of a is not in b 
any limit point of b is not in a if as such a and b if as if a and b as such a property then we say that the parent set is disconnected you never find a and b as always this property then the set is connected okay here i said that you can never find a and b a bar intersection b equal to empty and b bar intersection a equal to empty and a and b equal to x why right? if you take a equal to this and b equal to this or a1 equal to this a1 equal to this and b1 equal to this the union all set is clear union equal to a only so very perfect fine but a1 bar is again this only a1 bar is again the set only a1 bar intersection with b1 is empty but b1 bar b1 bar intersection a1 is non empty so b1 bar it contains zero as the limit point of this set a this condition satisfied whatever taken a1 a2 but this condition does not satisfied why why means so limit point of b1 b1 is zero element included but zero element already in in a1 okay this is the worst a and b we are trying to separating but we are not able to separating that's not satisfying this condition there is no a you never find you never find but one thing you needed a union b so the a union b equal to whole x if you consider this one and this one union the whole set is correct but when you taking a bar this is a closed set closed set you take a bar a only when you take b bar it will be b bar b is a limit point which contained in the set here this set so they were therefore we never separating we're never separating so therefore this is a connected set but not path connected there is no path path means there is a gap but some people it will not agreeing very quickly so how it is possible to agree this i can't able to accept whatever you said the explanation so there is a ball and this is approaching only approaching clearly it will be disconnection you are thinking like that if you want to understand these things you go and understand this concept connected concept uh just to read the book uh, in the goldberg method of real analysis uh, he is explaining what is the meaning of connectedness once you understand uh, then it will be obviously so this is an example a is connected but not path connected is it okay kartik sir is there any question no actually this lunch time most probably people are uh, going to sleep if they are not working nisha did we getting so oh, sorry sir network issue no questions are there sir okay nisha okay so so another one baby level baby question third question or fourth question i don't know let g b and open set in r in r two points Two points x comma y and g are said to be are said to be equivalent equivalent if they can be they can be joined they can be joined by a continuous path completely 
completely lying completely lying inside see then number of number of equivalence classes number of equivalence equivalence classes number of equivalence classes Classes. Yes. Option only one. At most finite. At most countable. can be finite can be finite countable uncountable can be finite countable can be finite countable or uncountable wow. the question is a very big written but uh, concept is very baby level concept please read please read please read please come on Please read. Try to understand. What is the answer, please? Anyone? The answer, please, anyone? Maitre. Maitre, right somewhere. No one has a response, sir. No one. Karpaya, sir. Do you have any idea? Please come on. Nisha, do you have any idea? Karthik sir, you have any idea? Yes, sir. Hmm. What is your answer? First, try to understand the question. Once if you understand the question, then the answer is very easy. Okay, anyway, try to explain. Don't worry. Let G be an open set in Rn. Just to think about this is a Rn. G is some open set. G is an open set in R. Now, two points x comma y in G are said to be equivalent. Equal is different and equivalence is different. Equal means same element. Equivalent means same cardinality. Okay, for example, 1 comma 2 comma 3, three elements A, B, C. This is a B set, this is A set. They are equivalent, but they are not equal. Here equivalent definition. Two points in G, X comma Y in G <coughs> are said to be equivalent if they can be joined by a continuous path, joined by a continuous path, completely lying inside G. That is a word, a very strong, a strong, powerful word. Okay, for example, this is our set G. Given any two point, you can able to find at least one continuous path. The path completely contained in G. 
that is a meaning that is a meaning right uh, suppose your g is like this this is a g1 open set and g2 open set g equal to g1 union g2 if you take a point here if you take a point here you never find a continuous path completely contained in g the some path some you take any straight line path or you go anywhere anywhere again it will be crossing here okay therefore this small a and small b they are not equal did you understand if g like this a is here and b is here you never find a path completely contained the continuous path in g so therefore if you cannot never find a and b you never find a connecting path traveling the connecting never going from a to b that path come we can go but the path completely contained in g this piece is not completely contained in g it will be outside of the g clearly we can see in the visualization so this small a and small b are not equivalent suppose some c is here then you can come at least one path this is your c this is your c and this is at least one path i can able to draw from a to c and a and c are equivalent again some d d is here and b and d are equivalent but c and d are not equal a and d are not equivalent what is the moral of the story you take any two point in g1 they are equivalent and you take any two point in g2 they are equivalent if you take uh, one point in g1 one point and g2 they are not equivalent they are not equivalent okay i think we got some idea so equivalent here the meaning equivalent is here take any two point in g completely contained there okay fine and provided g is a open set we are talking about g g is a open set in you know, rn fine then number of equivalence classes we have any remember what is a equivalence classes suppose i write class of a. this is a notation set of all b in x whatever given x then a is related to b our relation is here equivalent so locally i am fixing a which are the point which are the point related to, which are the point equivalent to a collect all those points a point a is fixed and b varying b varying what are the points equivalent to a collect all those points that is called the class of a and then the point la a kuda a kuda and then the point la a kuda a could equal and are there collect all those points in particular a or go let's say class of a class of a means once fix a you can search in the set where the points are where are what are the points which are equal to the small a collect all those b that is called class of a okay if here this is your set g you take any element a now what is a class of a now we take element somewhere in b what is a class of b anybody come on volunteer come on anybody volunteer what is a class of a maitre what is a class of a no nisha what is a class of a Just to see that a graph. Anybody, any volunteer? Come on. What's a class of a? A. You have to fix a. Go and search. What are the points which are equal to small a? Which means you go and see the point B. Where are the point? Who are the point? They are connecting to a. Which are the point able to connecting to a? so every element in the set all of them is connecting to a you take any element here it will be connecting to a so the class of a is g1 collecting all elements in g1 which are 
which are Arrest. connecting to A. Yes, please. Yes, please. Karthik, mic opened. Yes, sir. I have already opened, sir. What are the students you said? Yeah, yeah. If if you want, uh, please. If you want to talk to me, please talk. Ah, uh, otherwise it will be crashing. Voice. Okay. Now, what is the class of B? Similar. So, which are the points in G which are equivalent to B? So no points here which is equivalent to B because no points connecting to B. So the only points are in G2, all elements are connecting to B. Here you take any point, there is a path, there is a continuous path. So class of B is G2. Okay. Now come. Now what, what, you, what can you think about? Now what do you think about? Now number of equivalence classes. They are equivalence class. They are defined in G. Let G be an open set in R. So. So number of equivalence classes of Rn, not for G. The question asking number of equivalence classes. For this is suppose this is our X capital X. This is suppose this is our capital X number of equivalence classes two. One class is A, another class is B. So if you take any element in X which is equivalent to this this class which is equivalent to A or equivalent to B. So in X can be two part, two pieces. So if A uh, suppose X is a set, if you put a relation, if you if you put any relation, it may be separate or may not be. That we are not sure. But once put the relation, equivalence relation, the set totally it will be disjointing. If you take union, the whole set it will be coming. So that is why we are more probably concentrating equivalence classes, the equivalence relation. There is a set when you try to separate. Someone they put some relation. According to relation, they will be separating. Sometimes it will be overlapping. But the relation satisfying the equivalence relation, through that relation, we can define an equivalence class. From that equivalence class, the set can be separated. Separated means you take any class, any class whose intersection is empty. Any two class whose intersection is empty. If you take union of this class, a given whole set. So equivalence relation and equivalence classes, they are trying to dividing part the partition partition of the set. Uh, they are separating the set. Now Rn, they are defining any two point Rn, there is an open set containing any two point in the open set G equivalent. We need to find a continuous path. It will be completely contained in G. So this is a relation defined in Rn. So the question is number of equivalence class of Rn is. Number of equivalence class of Rn is. For example, you take R2. Take any two point, you can able to draw our equivalence class of zero, any B in R2 such that R Y, some something Y such that zero is related to Y. You take any Y is related to the straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Zero is here. You take any point, it will be connecting the straight line or not necessarily straight line. We can able to connect. They can be joined by a continuous path completely containing inside G. Any point in R, just to fix it in a point R in to take any two points, we can obviously we can able to traveling one point to each other. Why means 
R n is path connected. R one is path connected. R two is path connected. Path connected means already there is a travel. We can able to move anywhere, any two points. Okay, there is already there is a path. So now indirectly they are defining. In R n, you take any two any point in zero. You take any point anywhere. We can able to travel to joint with zero. This is a continuous travel without the curve breaking. You can come and join here. So that point is equivalent to zero. That point is arbitrary point. We don't know where I where I was taken in R two. Somewhere I was taken in R two. From that I can travel to join in zero. So the moral of the story is already R in its path connected. Given any points. Instead of zero, and any point we can able to join. So all points are equivalent to the single point. So the class of the single point is whole set R two. So the class is one only. Okay. So the equivalence class is only one. Okay. So if this is a Part B questions only one. So what about at most finite? At most countable can be finite. Can be finite countable. Ah, uh, can be finite countable or uncountable. So which is the best one? The number of classes only one class. Is it okay? So, so please wait. I want take thirty second. Uh, uh, one small break. Only one, one, only for thirty second or one minute. J just I will come. Or you can think about. I will give some other problems. Uh, wait. I will uh, try to give the problems. Wait, wait. I will come. Okay, fine. So actually, I want to define a topology, co-find topology. Clearly, it will take time, at least one number, one and a half hour. But this co-find topology is obvious. Okay, I'll try to define. Wow. Few minutes are there. Karthik sir, sir, if I want to discuss with uh, take co-finite topology, it will take uh, more than half an hour at least. Yes, sir. Uh, so shall we take that uh, tomorrow, sir? Maybe. Uh, right now, I will do some problems. Sure, sir. Of course. We have five minutes, sir. We will do uh, one problem, sir. Okay, there is a simple problem. Don't worry, I will uh, try to complete.
So let F going from R to R be a continuous map. Be a continuous map. Which are the following R true? Option A, F is bounded. Is bounded P. Image of F is an open set. Open subset. Of a. F of A is bounded for a very bounded subset A of R B. F in most of A is compact. For all compact, for all compact subsets of, for all compact subsets, A of R. Simple, simple problem. Read, please read. Okay. Now I define set. Set of all f going from R to R. Let's see that f is continuous. That's a given common statement. This is a collection of all map. This is a collection of all map from R to R. If you take any element, that's a let f. So f is a taking from V. That f is always bounded. So any element in V, V is a collection. What's the collection? Collection of all continuous map from R to R. So locally V equal to C of R. C of R means uh, set of all continuous function from R to R. Okay, fine. So just to draw the graph, you draw, suppose all the elements in V, all the elements in V, which property following always? This property, this property, that property. So suppose this is not true means you have to find uh, some element in V which does not following this. Okay. I can draw identity function. R f of x equal to x square. This is my graph. This is my graph. But uh, this x square function is here in element in B. So x square is a continuous function from R to R. This x square function is an element of B, but does not uh, following the property A. And sin x also is an element in V because sin x R to R is a continuous function. So sin x also an element in V. But sin x following this property. So what is that meaning? Some element in V following, some element is not following. So therefore arbitrary any f not necessarily always following this. Okay, therefore option A is false. Please. Please, 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 please. Someone's mic is opened, please. It will be interpreting. Please. Okay. Next one is image of F is always open subset of R. Karthi, you go on the mic, put unmute or mute. Someone, they will be. Sure, sir. Yara Tamil is a best rambler, biscuit is another than Gagan Amber, Pasiki the ma. Sir, unmute yourself, sir. Sir, mute yourself, sir. Okay, go get in the other there. Okay. Sign X, okay, okay. Sign X on the V, okay. Sign X is an element of V which is bounded, and X square is an element of V which is unbounded. So all elements in V does not follow. Why? This is an element, arbitrary element in V. Arbitrary element in V. That arbitrary element always having this property, no. Arbitrary element always this property, no. Image of F is open, no. So no means I can try to buy a given element in V. G of X is equal to G of X is equal to Yeah, sin X whose image of sin x is 
image of sin x is in whole r minus 1 to plus 1. The range set is minus 1 to plus 1, right? Sin x is like this, right? So, range set is like this. So, image is, uh, sin x is an element which does not follow this property. So, what about uh, D? Then uh, we will come A, uh, C. What about D? So, given any compact subset of inverse image of compact set is compact. In the co domain, there is a compact set. If F is a continuous, it will pull back again a compact whose pre image. Did you understand? Inverse image of compact set is compact. If F is a continuous, as this property, the question. Uh, this says that whenever F is a continuous, whose image image of compact set is compact. Continuous function has this property or not? All continuous function. All continuous function has this property, then true. Some continuous function does not uh, following this property. This is not true always. So, <laughs> f of x is equal to 5. Constant function for every x in R. This is a constant function whose image is only 5. Whose image is 5. So, now, now, Inverse image of 5, how the graph look like? So, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, whole R. Okay. Now, F inverse of 5 is equal to whole R. Right. For the element, for the element went to 5, all element in R went to 5. Because F is a constant function. And now, I would like to A, uh, take A, A equal to 5, only single element. Single tensor closed and bounded. Therefore, 5 is a 5 element set is a compact set. So, now I, I, I was taking, I would like to take F inverse of 5 is whole R. But A is compact, but inverse image is not compact. This is not compact. If it is compact, it will be closed and bounded. It is closed and bounded, but R is not closed and bounded. We know clearly, okay. Therefore, constant function does not following this property. Any constant function does not follow this property. Okay. Whose image is 5. 5 is a singleton set. A singleton set is a closed and bounded. And A is a closed, but inverse image is R. But constant function does not follow all compact subsets. Few compact subsets, but inverse image need not be compact. So, therefore, this is not true always. Now, what about this? What about this? Continuous function. If f going from continuous function, if given any bounded set whose image is bounded, f is a continuous function, given any bounded set whose output also bounded. What do you, what is your guess? What is your guess? Come on. What is your guess? How to define? To take a is bounded, prove that f of a is bounded. Given continuous. What? How to prove? This is a true statement. A is bounded, image is A is bounded. Okay, just I will try to explain. Okay. If A is a bounded set, just assume that A is bounded set, prove that F of A is bounded. Take any continuous function, take any continuous function, input is, input A is bounded, image is also bounded. If you proved like this, then option C is always correct. Okay. A is bounded means, A is bounded means, every element of X in A bounded by some M. Okay. This is for all X belongs to you. This is bounded definite. A is bounded <coughs> if A has this property. Clearly. So, claim is F of X is bounded by some M1. Sorry, M2, whatever it may be. Okay. So, I will give idea. A is any bounded set. It will become completely contained. Some closed into A. We always we can able to find. A is bounded means there is upper bound or lower bound. Ah, you can take here. Here itself, you go minus m2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to all x completely contained. This means a is completely containing minus m2 plus m. 
okay not belongs to say a is a subset of this continuous map f is continuous continuous image of compact set is compact continuous image of connected set is connected continuous function as this property this is a compact set whose image is compact okay we know this theorem this is a very standard and famous theorem so therefore f is continuous f of minus m2 plus m the complete is again is some compact set b continuous image of compact set is compact b is compact okay what what can i say about f of a f of a is a subset of a is a subset of minus m2 plus m so f of a is a subset of f of minus m2 plus m is it correct it's a bigger set a is a smaller set whose image is lies clearly contained in bigger set image so f of a is a completely contained minus m2 plus m this is b now all compact set compact implies closed compact implies bounded but converse not true compact implies bounded complex implies compact implies closed compact implies bounded complex compact implies closed so continuous image of compact set is compact and f of a is a completely contained in this compact set b is closed therefore a uh, b is closed b is bounded once b is bounded f of a is f of a is completely contained this implies that f of a is completely contained b b bounded therefore f of a also bounded so this is always true. just take hint or we can prove some other way also you can think about for all x bounded you using continuity you take a point uh, is small a f is continuous at small a continuity means x minus a less than delta which implies that f of x minus f of a less than epsilon you fix f of x this side and f of a carry that side f of x lies between f of a plus epsilon for all x you can use it or you can use some, something is there that is one of the idea you can try it but this is also one of the another idea continuous image of compact set is compact from that result we can conclude that given any bounded set whose image is bounded provided f is continuous okay is there any question please i am going to wind the lesson uh, wind the session because the time is 3:30 gone i am very so sorry but it's okay initially we will start a little late for 5 minutes so right it will be compensated that's all you have any doubt please Uh, in the chat box, uh, Karpe Sir has given a message. In the image of compact set is compact. Uh, Hemanta no. has responded yes, sir. Okay, in the image of compact set. Ah, Suresh Krishnan P. P P. Ah, one one minute, sir. Uh, if if this constant map in the image of singleton set is R, R is not compact. so therefore inverse image of compact set need not be compact already i gave the one example okay that will be maybe now he is understood okay fine is there any question yes sir okay kartik sir you want to say something No sir, I want to say Karpe sir is given by taking f of x is equal to one by x on zero comma one. Open zero oh. and closed one. We can omit c. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, please see here hypothesis. If going from R to R, one by x is only defined open and rule zero to one, not for whole R. Hypothesis whole f is continuous in the whole R. Such a f we are discussing here. I think right now uh, yes, maybe Karthi, our in the line, like what our other can discuss, but not our other that miss. Ah, one minute.
maybe he right now understood maybe he forgot the hypothesis that's all but anyway he is yes, sir you may talk to him sir keep on he is uh, uh, responding that is very nice he is interested to learn and whatever he know he is expressing that's good to learn that's a way to learn maths not only maths anything i am really appreciate to him prepare sir you can able to talk to him sir not the speaker okay kardi no problem he is not willing but anyway fine maybe i am going to wind up this session thank you for sitting and listening whatever i am saying maybe i hope you are learning something from me and you try to work with some problems in pcs cs problem whatever we are done similar problems a lot of problems are there in past cs questions so go and solve it it will help to solve the problems okay anyway thank you for listening so two hour the sessions and thank you for that college organizing vinayaka missions so okay fine tomorrow we will meet is there any question you want to talk to me no right yes. thank you sir for your eye opening session for all of us once again i thank all the participants kindly fill the feedback form for the day 3 we'll join tomorrow day 4 session by 1:30 pm thank you all thank you so much sir okay thank you karthik sir bye bye sir